begin. My presentation is on the Trojan War, and I got some pictures off the internet that you can look at. Some people consider the Trojan War a myth, but towards the end of the 19th century, a German by the name of Henrik Schulman departed on a journey. Henrik sought to discover the ruins of Troy. In 1870 AD, faithfully using Homer's poem, The Iliad, as directions to the city, he started di digging at Hiserlik, which is in modern-day Turkey. He uncovered ruins of the city, which he thought was Troy. Numerous archaeologists have dug at that site since then. Today, we understand that the ruins did belong to Troy, and it was built in 3600 BC. Amazingly, it was rebuilt at least eight times following each destruction. Many specialists argue about which the ruins are the ones described in Homer's poem. Most of the cities found at Hysterlik were viciously destroyed, but we do not know if they were destroyed by a hurricane, a war, or an earthquake. Greeks may have raided Troy and destroyed the city, but there still is no archaeological proof that the Trojan War actually took place as Homer described in his poem, The Iliad. Even though we do not know if the Trojan War truly occurred, here is the story that Homer, a Greek poet, told. The Trojan War started because of Helen of Sparta. Helen was extremely beautiful, and every Greek king wanted to marry her. Eventually, Helen married Menelaus, who was the brother of Agamemnon. Helen's father commanded her other suitors to swear on oath to support Menelaus and to help if anything happened to Helen. Unfortunately, Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, promised Paris, a prince of Troy, that he would have Helen as his wife. Then she caused Helen to fall in love with Paris, and they eloped to Troy. Agamemnon was terribly angry because his brother was humiliated when Helen ran away. So Agamemnon and the other Greek kings gathered a huge and powerful army and set out to Troy. Troy was a very powerful and well-equipped city, so a fortified city, so it would not have been easy to defeat it. For ten long, miserable years, swords clashed and clanged while heroes on both sides fought bravely. Then Odysseus, the king of Ithaca, thought of a plan. They made a giant wooden horse, then simply sailed back to Greece, so the Trojans thought. The Trojans brought the horse inside for good luck. At night, when everyone was sleeping, Greeks that were hidden inside the wooden horse came out and slaughtered everyone in the horse, except Helen, of course. Actually, there was a survivor. His name was Aeneas, and, his family, and he and his family escaped during their slaughter. They fled to Italy, where his descendants supposedly founded Rome. Thank you, Eric.